Well, who look who showed up? Mr. Boots, the Confederate rebel cat. Yeah. You come back, you have your vitamin packed food? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. I think you are. Put vitamins in your food. You like that stuff, don't you, huh? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. See, this one's a male. It leaves his butt up when it eats. Oh, other guy, another one. Might be a female, man. I don't know. Maybe she's being, uh, what do you call that? Like, keeping her legs crossed or something. There you go. Some treats on her food on top of that, okay? Here's a few more. Air, air, air. Air, air. Some mixed barbecue. Yeah. You good cat, man. He's he's happy he came by. Bunch of ants over here. Get them. <laughs> yeah. Poopy. Is Rocky up there? Or somebody's up there. Somebody's a Putin might be up there. Hi, Mr. Putin. What are you doing, man? Hi. Hi. We just gave you food, buddy. One more. <laughs> yeah, get out through your gun torrents. Mission strong here. You will protect it. <laughs> oh, oh well. Yeah. Miss Boots, Mr. Boots, Mr. Boots. Yeah, that's another thing they should have on that Dukes of Hatters. They should have Well they had that dog with Roscoe. <laughs> Flash. Come on, Flyers. <laughs> Oh, you sit there like <laughs> slowest dog I ever seen in my life. <laughs> Passing out. I think it was funny. Anyway, Booty. Yeah, we we happy? Are we happy? Huh? You looking for more treats in there? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Here, here, pooper. Here, come here. Hey, you want these? Look. Put them on top of your food with your vitamins. Your cat vitamins. Ah. Boss hog Trump. <laughs> anyway. I was just thinking about that today. Mr. Boss hog Trump. He fired he fired the FBI guy. Finally. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Does that mean we can make moonshine now? Huh? Or is that the BATF or some crap? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's not the FBI. That's the other guys. <laughs> we gotta put a cat in charge of the White House, man. That's what we need to do. Yeah. Meow, meow, meow. He's eating that stuff up. That's because there's whiskers in there with friskies and cat vitamins. You're pretty strong. You're looking pretty good. You're looking pretty good, buddy. You're looking pretty damn good. Ugh. It's amazing, you know, over here it's like, it gets like 95 in the afternoon. It's almost like California in some ways, man. It's like, what happened to a big solar heater, you know? Um, and then at night it's like 65 that's a pretty big difference in temperature I think that's usually a little more than what happens well you know what it is it's getting it's dry man it's been dry here in Florida maybe that's why it seems a little more like California and I think I remember back in 97 
1997, man. They had all these forest fires down here. I remember I was riding my motorcycle, and it was like the same kind of crap in California. I remember we had the big forest fires there in the early 90s. And I came down here, and a bunch of forest fires down here, man. I was like, woo! <laughs> woo! That's the only reason they're not letting you do open burning right now. Yeah. So I gotta get my El Camino down and take them branches. <laughs> Can't burn them. What? You still hungry for treats? You, you, you getting like boo boo head. Let's put them on there just to get you going, man. Not so you eat all the treats. He's eating them. He's eating the root food. I didn't do too much on El Camino today. I just did a one little spot. Well, that was the last spot I needed to really fill in. And, uh, and, uh, too many other things going on. I gotta find my chainsaw sharpener and my air stapler. Can't find that. Gotta, especially that chainsaw sharpener, man, right now. Right? You going someplace? Huh? Are you going someplace? You going someplace, Mr. Striped Cat? Huh? You know, it's good with cats. You don't worry about nothing, man. As long as you got your, as long as you got your food in your litter box and shit, right? What the hell we need all these dumb government rules for anyway, right? We all grow our own food. We're all gonna live pretty happy because we got enough, right? Because as long as you got food and water. You, you can pretty much make everything else. I mean, shit, if you even just got an S-Wing axe, you can pretty much build uh, your, all your campfires and build your house. <laughs> it's like they do up in Sweden. Right? Are you looking for more of this treat shit? You're getting, like, rocky, man. You get you probably like this crap better than the other chicken flavor. This is backyard barbecue. Here, come here, little boober. Come here, fella. Come here. <laughs> yes. You know, he, I was, I was always giving him uh, chicken, chicken or um, savory seafood, salmon seafood. This is this stuff. I, he, I don't think he ever had this particular brand. I usually not, don't get it. And if I had it, gave it to him. Maybe I gave it to him a long time ago. But I mean, he seems like like this better than the other stuff. Even he's like really getting fussy. You can be a fussy meow meow. Means you ain't too too hungry. Doo -doo -doo. Little buddy. There he is. Look at wild colors on him, man. See that? Good to get the light just on him, just right, so the camera picks him up good. See, white little feet, you got white boot feet. And he was, I, I tell you, though, know, I'm just saying, like, again, on my other cat video, I've been doing a lot of cat videos now, again, what the hell. Uh, but that Rocky, he was a, he was a cat, man, you just, you just thought this cat was, I think he was scared, but he, you think he was mean or some shit. He was so. He was so like hissy and um, he'd try to claw you no matter what that that was that was used to be Rocky a long time ago. I almost I forgot about that because he's like the total opposite now. Completely the opposite. This guy was a little I was a little hesitant with when I first got him too, man, because I really didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, you okay? I really didn't know. He was kind of like uh, panicked. Then he was okay. Then something bit his foot. That was a long time ago, so we know it's not rabies or nothing. <laughs> his whole foot's all hooked, fixed up now again. He healed it himself. You pretty damn uh, calm, dude, huh? Right. Get your. Black and brown, white feet, huh? Wow. Looks like you're, you're holding together, too. No fights. 
I'm glad to hear that. You know what that is? Because you got food, right? You don't need to go fight nobody, huh? You got your food. So I say we can we can all be farmers and shit and go back to the old school. And skip the skip the wars, the taxes, all the dumb bullshit freaking people go fight over whatever. Yeah, that's one thing, you know, I'm not, like, super keen on the Marine Corps or anything like that in some ways because it's, like, got to be a big federal government, you know, thing. But I say one thing, in a way, is, like, when you go in there, they say, you don't need all this trash, it's all garbage, you know. It's sort of, if you're right, it's like, you just need the minimal stuff. And, uh, it's the way it ought to be. I always notice, too, when you ever went to a foreign country, and the people were poor they always seem to be happier like if they were in tied with the land like they're agricultural type people they always seem to be happier um if you got into you know a place like a real big big wealthy area they kind of like you know what are you doing Bootsy? huh they kind of like they don't they're just they just don't talk you know what i mean if you got, um, it don't matter where it is, if you got, you go to any country that, where people, like, they're not dirt, dirt poor, but they're more agricultural, they're friendlier. And that's probably what we need to be doing here in the United States, man. So, go back to that shit. Not that I know how to grow anything. <laughs> Working on my lemon trees. I got two lemons getting ready. They're green, but... You good cat, huh? See, this guy, he'll hang around forever as long as I'm petting him. But if I leave, he leaves. Now, Charlene, she hangs around, and if I leave, she's still out here for hours, man. That's why I put that blanket out there. She was laying on a blanket. Yeah, we're happy cats, aren't we? We happy cats? Yeah, we happy cats. Man, I ordered some more uh, stuff from, uh, I forgot what the hell I ordered exactly. It was uh, um, N Acetyl Christine, NAC, uh, from that bulk place, the bulk rhino, because I ordered a whole bunch of vitamin C from them. I didn't even dig into that pill yet, because I got bags of the stuff yet, plus I take the pills and I I take the powder in the pills, but um, it was NAC and was it green tea or glutathione? I forgot. I forgot which one. I got a couple bags of that bags of that stuff coming in, man. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start taking more vitamins that are like the, oh biotin. I got a uh, biotin. I got a bulk biotin too. That's what it was. It was biotin and acetylcysteine. And it was either green tea or glutathione. It might have been green tea. It might have been green tea. And, uh... The biotin is pretty good because... I was taking the pills, but you know... Um, it's good because it's a metabolism booster. Well, they also call it the beauty vitamin because it's hair, skin, and nails. Uh, but it's a metabolism booster. And, um... Uh, well, it doesn't really, the way it really works is um, it helps you uh, burn up your your carbs and your fats a lot better. So you, it's an energy producer, not a metabolism booster. That's what I should be saying. So you can always use more energy. Even if you feel like you got pretty good energy, you can always use more. I remember like some years ago when I was working out three hours a day, man. I don't know, I got on some kind of click. I was like... I eat mostly apples, and um, I remember every lunch I'd have these mixed vegetables with, um, with some type of um, it was Tony's, um, like some kind of hot pepper sprinkled stuff, Tony's Louisiana something formula. I forgot what it was. Put that on there, of course, and also um, a horseradish. Um, that would have been good. Oregano and garlic. And 
coconut oil on these stir-fried mixed vegetables then I'd have the fish and um, that'd be the lunch and uh, usually for breakfast it was just like a few apples and um, then I'd go to the gym for three hours and I'd come back and I'd have like whole oatmeal with um, I forgot what the hell I'd put on it. some some kind of natural sweeteners or some shit man I had loads of energy I was like I was working out three hours a day um, at an extremely hellacious level um, on that elliptical machine and I still had loads of energy I could, I could and uh, sometimes they work out four hours five hours so once in a while even six to eight hours like you'd be split into two groups I had loads of energy to do all this other shit too more and I got pretty good energy now but nowhere near and I swear to God I think it's like I think it's when you don't eat as much and you get on the right kind of foods like that Dr. CB guy says man you seem to have loads more energy I ain't quite doing that anymore but I'm doing it a little bit with the uh, vitamins that's what order some more bulk so we're gonna get a lot more biotin I take it nice and nicotinic acid B3 right and you know these cat vitamins they give these guys they're um they're pretty potent they're from Puritan's Pride but they don't really like to eat them whole because I don't know what it is with the flavor but what I do is I grind them up and I put them in the food and they eat them just fine so they, they're getting a lot of powerful vitamins that way right you're getting a lot of fire from but yeah, you're getting powerful vitamins right you sure are. Uh-huh. He'll stay out here forever. But like I said, since I walk inside, he leaves, man. Not Charlene. Charlene hangs around. That's the last couple times, few times she hang around for a few hours. I'll be like, I just check my monitor because I'm like, man, I can't keep going out here all the time. I check the camera. I said, whoa, she's still out there, man. Three hours later. That's why I put the rug. It should be by later. I like this Indian music too. I think cats are like little Indians. Yeah. yeah. He's eating more. He's good meow meow, huh? He's getting warmer. There's more ants out here frequently. That's why I'm thinking. That's why I waited until this guy came out here for to put the food out. The ants don't go in a dry shit, but they go in a wet shit. They, they're, they're out here. But he's eating them up. And I got my cat food stacked back up to a little over three and a half feet. Plus my other emergency cases. So when Miss Sherling comes by, she'll have plenty of food. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I'm thinking about this stuff up in Tennessee. Now, this property looks like it's pretty much locked on. It's going to be a bunch of acres. Not like really big, but a lot more than five, you know? And uh, it's sort of like, I don't want to leave here until, but you know, once you go up to some place and you start putting something up there, then you start looking at it, you start thinking, hmm. Then you're like, you know what I mean? Sort of like one foot in it. You put one foot in a place and you start getting used to it. But even I can tell you, even people up in New Jersey, man, they, they bitch about the place, but they don't leave because they're used to it because it's their home, you know. But once it comes to, they go somewhere else. They're like, well, how the hell are they staying in this place so long? But, you know, I got the idea of getting never going back up there. So once I got in the military, I was like, I ain't going back in that place. <laughs> I don't think it was so bad until I went into the military and I saw other places and been there for more years at a time and it really sunk into my head. Boy, that place is no good. <coughs> I don't think any place in the United States is better than up there. But there's one place that's not bad. There's some place up in New Jersey ain't bad, but still the state itself is screwed up. Like you go to Northwest New Jersey, or you go down to South Jersey by the Pine Bearings, 
You don't think you're in New Jersey, man. And it's not so much the city, it's all dumbass rules, man. It's like inside politicians run everything. Which is down here, too, but it's there's less of it. It's like it's everywhere, but there's less of it. And I think the biggest problem going on right now with... Uh, did you hurt your front paw a little bit? Eh? What did you do? No, maybe not. No, he just seems alright. That one, you seem to be okay. Well, huh? You, you didn't hurt your front paw, did you? Eh, maybe you did. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Yeah, you did. I think you did, you freaking yo. Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe not. What happened, huh? Yep, he hurt his front paw. A little bit. It'll go away, hopefully. Maybe it's a thorn. God, man. These cats. Watch where you're walking. 